when I think about a superintendency, um, the work is really complex. And it's not like people all over the country have figured out how to turn around a failing urban school system. But more than all of that, we have promised people that to live in our democracy, they would have access to basic things like a public education. And we fail to deliver on that. And morally and patriotically, we have to uh, deliver on the promise to the students that are in our classrooms. What are your immediate goals for DCPS? We have to build great schools, and when I say great schools, I mean the kind of schools that you or I would send our children to. Schools that are safe, schools that are modern, schools that have a rigorous academic curriculum, schools that integrate the arts and technology and have extracurricular activities. We have to make sure that those schools are staffed by great people, outstanding principals, a highly effective teacher in every classroom, and great supportive staff. We need to have great community connections because we, DCPS, can't do this by ourselves. It takes our parents as partners, it takes our neighbors as partners, it takes our business people, our politicians, and so we have an obligation to connect people to the work that we do and help them understand their role in delivering on the promise for our students. You've actually been working in teacher quality issues then, sort of your whole career. My entire career. And, but now it's just becoming sort of the hot issue, it seems, in the last couple of years that everybody's now focused on teacher quality. How do you feel about that? I feel like, finally, <laughs> for 20 years, uh, we've been, some of us have been talking about the quality of the teacher being the most significant in-school factor that you could leverage to change student achievement. And we are now having a conversation nationwide about how we ensure a highly effective teacher in all of our classrooms. Tell us a bit about what you're doing in D.C. to be progressive about evaluating teachers. When we got here, 90-something um, percent of our teachers were rated as meets or exceeds expectations, and only about 8 percent of our students were meeting or exceeding expectations. So there was a disconnect. We feel like you can't say a teacher is effective if the student is not achieving. Our teachers receive five observations over the course of a year, so there are multiple opportunities for feedback. Their principal observes them, and we have an objective third-party content specialist, who we call a master educator, who also goes out and observes them. And then if there's a disconnect between what the principal sees and the master educator sees, we have some checks and balances in place. And a few other components that allow us to really put together a full picture of what teachers are doing over the course of the year in their classrooms. Well, it seems like you are leading the way on this issue in our country. <laughs> um, and that is, we really commend you for that. We've been very aggressive on this issue because we know that it doesn't matter what curriculum we put in place, it doesn't matter what professional development we put in place, it doesn't matter what other strategies we put in place. If we don't have good people to implement those strategies, the best strategy will go nowhere. Do you think the, um, in Washington, D.C., having so many new choices is having a, a nice effect on the students and the, and the parents here? Well, I think it's been interesting to see. The charter movement has been in D.C. probably for about 15 years. And I think that um, initially, families were opting out of the traditional public school system and moving to charters. And for the last 41 years, we've experienced a decline in enrollment in our traditional public school system. But um, over the last four years, we have brought it and are competing in a very different way, are offering families more choices, more rigorous curriculum, and higher quality teachers. And for the first time this year, we saw an increase in our enrollment of about a thousand students for the first time in 41 years. Wow. Um, Good job. Absolutely. I think, <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, when school districts take on the challenge and understand that our job is to provide as high quality an education as anybody else, then we figure out, you know, how people vote with their feet. And this year, DCPS is recouping some of the families who previously lost confidence in us. You have so much support in the city. It's, you hear it everywhere. And that's, I think people see that because you're confident and you're happy and you're doing the work you believe in. I'm having a ball in this job. I feel like I'm contributing tremendously. I feel like I make really good connections with people and I hope we can move student achievement. I get up every day because I believe we can do that. <laughs>